We are still in the chapter of determinants, but we have been introducing some concepts that we are going to need for um, uh, future videos. So, in the previous videos, we introduced the concept of permutation, and in the next video, we introduced the concept of parity of a permutation. Okay, so a permutation is said to be even or odd according to its inversions. So, then we saw uh, the sign of uh, a permutation. Each permutation will have a sign according to the inversions. If the number of inversions is even, the sign of the permutation will be 1. If the number of inversions is odd, thus the permutation will have sign minus 1. We saw some examples here. Then we introduced the concept of transposition. What is a transposition? A transposition is nothing else but a particular permutation where an even number of numbers swapped, like here, one stayed on one, four uh, stayed on four, and then two and three, they they swapped, right? So there are only two numbers that swapped, so this is a transposition. Okay. Later we saw the concept of composition. So, here we were uh, composing this uh, transposition small circle, so composition, uh, transposition uh, composed with a particular permutation. Okay. Uh, we finished that uh, checking the uh, um, um, inverse, the inverse, that's what I meant, the inverse of a permutation, okay? So that's, that's just the elements that I'm taking back. Okay, so now I'm going to leave some properties about the, the, the sign and the composition that I'm going to leave without proof. If anyone needs badly the proofs, I can produce in another video. So let us say we have a permutation and a transposition in a particular symmetrical n group. Okay, so we can say that the sign of the transposition composed with the permutation is the same as the sign of the transposition times the sign of the permutation. Okay, really easy. So the sign of the composition is the product of the sign of the one times the, the sign of the other. Okay? So, uh, obvious things. What can happen here is this one being odd and this one being odd too. This one being even and this one being even. Or this one being odd and this being even or the swapping, right? So, two odd permutations or two even permutations, they will both be uh, even, right? Even and even. And um, the product of an odd and an even permutation, that's odd. And that's, uh, that is a bit logical, right? Because if this one is odd, the sign of it will be minus one. This one, the, the sign will be minus one minus times minus will be 1, so the sign of the composition will be 1, and even, even, the sign will be 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and here we'll have minus 1 times 1, or 1 times minus 1, this will be minus 1, so the, the composition will be uh, sine minus 1. Okay, another fact I'm going to leave without proof is that the, the sign of a permutation uh, is the same as the sign of the inverse, right? I shouldn't put these brackets here. So, the sign of the inverse is the same as the sign of the permutations. Okay, this is really uh, a bit obvious. 
using some small data. It, this is really easy to prove. And uh, so this I wanted to leave without any proof. And another fact is, if we have a composition like this, and we get the identity. I'm going to, to write the identity this way. Okay. Uh, Well, not exactly this. Uh, let me write uh, this. Okay. So these are all small informations that you can. It's a, a bit obvious. And I think about the signs uh, and about permutation transpositions and all that. We we have enough information now.